Hey Visa, so we're going to talk about the Zoom meetings and just how to set up your first Zoom meeting for Monday. Um, you can use the personal ID, so if you were going to do that, you just click new meeting. Um, the reason I don't really like the personal ID is it's always going to be using the same code. So your period one kids might accidentally end up in period two or you know, they, might, they might end up in the wrong meeting because everyone's getting the same code. But if you like that, if you like the idea of having the same code for your office hours is for your class, you can do that. Um, if you're gonna do that, you don't even really need to schedule the meetings necessarily because you can always just come here and just click new meeting when you're ready. If you're gonna do that, um, this little arrow, um, when you go to the numbers, you can press copy ID and send that to the students or copy invitation. And then if you go into the PMI settings, um, this is your personal meeting ID. We can either require a password. Um, I like to just make mine my last name or instead of a password, I like to enable the waiting room. I don't really like to do both. I think it's redundant. Um, so I'm going to take off the password and just make sure I have the enable waiting room checked on. Um, I like to turn host video on and participants video on. So just prompting them initially for that. And then I also like to mute the participants on entry. Um, and then I like to automatically record my meeting in the cloud. Um, that's really important. I have another video on that so that if a student is absent, you can just send them that link. And so I'll save those settings. And then when I'm ready to start, I'm just gonna press new meeting. Um, but like I said, I don't think that's the best option. What I really like is I like to have um, a different ID for each of my classes. And so what we're gonna do is we can click plus and schedule that meeting right here. But the issue is that um, it doesn't, when we click recurring meeting, it doesn't really give us uh, the ability in the app to state how many times we want it to, to keep repeating. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to pop over here to the website, right? So you can log in with Clever or just go to zoom.us and log in. So we're going to click on the meetings tab and we're going to click schedule a new meeting. And so I'm going to schedule this as my advisory meeting. And so we'll call this advisory meeting. Now, if you really, really wanted to have a different one for every day, you could, um, but I, I don't recommend that, so I'm not even gonna show how to do that. Um, I think it would be too too crazy to be making a new meeting every day with a new link. It, it's just gonna get, it's gonna get frustrating. So um, I'm gonna set this one for Monday, August 10th at 9 a.m. And then we'll set this as a recurring meeting. Honestly, the duration doesn't really matter except for your calendar. Um, you can go over the duration, under the duration, it, it won't really affect anything. So we're going to have it recurring. We're going to change this over to weekly. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I apologize if you guys watched the video already on the recurring meetings, a lot of this is going to be repeated. Um, and then our end date, I'm going to pick uh, December 17th. Um, I believe that's the last day of school. I could be wrong. And then... Um, for security, like I said, I like to either pick passcode or waiting room. I'm going to leave it on waiting room. For video, I'm going to place the host video on and the participant video on. And then again, um, I like to let them join before me just if they're really eager. Um, it, they'll still be in the waiting room. And then they're going to be muted when they come in. And then we're going to record the meeting in the cloud. Okay. Um, if you want to set up your breakout rooms beforehand, you can. The issue with that is like right now, if I hit create rooms, I don't have anyone yet because they haven't registered yet. So in order to do that, you have to have them pre-register, um, which since they don't have their emails uh, in our Google Classrooms totally in place yet, um, you know, we'll, we'll save that for a later video. So anyways, you have these settings and then we'll hit save. And so that's nice. Now all of those meetings are gonna be there. If you have the app, you can do this in the app or you can just do it right here in meetings, right? So in meetings, um, Right, you would click which meeting you want to start. So I want to start this first advisory meeting. And you can hit start here. Or actually, there was even a, an option back here to start any of my meetings. Right, I can start my advisory meeting, my engineering meetings. And when you hit start, it's just going to open the app. Um, you also could just have the app open and go to your meetings and hit start here. So either way, um, that's kind of how you get your meetings pre-scheduled and then start them. Um, good luck with your guys' Zoom meetings on Monday. And I hope you guys have a good weekend.